Yeah. It's your favorite act. I'm just a product of the scripts. Yeah, I'm just a product of the scripts. Yeah. We live forever, catch my drill. Hey, that's forever, catch my drill. Uh, the perfect man, they call him in. Yeah, uh, they call him in. Uh, I'm just a product of the scripts. Yeah, of the scripts. I'm working hard, nothing easy does it. Ain't easy. Cut out the claws and got out the bucket. I did. She say I'm chose, never call me lucky. We chose. That tore a lightning and it finally struck me. Oh. Soon to be plushy, but I started dusting. Oh, yeah. Left out all the living, didn't end up puffing. Fly that Yahoo Express, I used to ride a huffy. Yeah. And I've been hurt the worst by those who said they love me. Oh. Later with the words, I like it action packed. I'm just a man, why you lying? Keep that thing around. Now, yeah. When you keep it honest, people feel attacked. They do. That's why I'm bouncing when I scoop, playing ball and jacks. Uh, Bringing back the obby hood for a major cut. That cut. That's why I keep giving this goodness, get my favor up. So, the bigger the fam, the more it fills his table up. Uh, he opened some doors, get counsel. I'm just a product of the screws. Yeah. I'm just a product of the screws. Yeah. We live forever, kiss my drill. Hey, that's forever, kiss my drill. Shalawan, family Shalawan. Shalawan. First and foremost, we want to give all honor, glory, and praise to the Most High, Ahaya by Hashem Yashai, Kodash Wat. We pray that you out there doing well today. We pray that the Most High is taking care of you. Pray that you're doing what was pleasing to the Most High out there. Um, we want to go into the second part of our lesson on these Amalekites. You know, the Amalekites are running the show like we showed in, in our first lesson, right? Part one. So much that, that they run, I mean, I don't even think, well, we know our people can't even wrap their mind around how much control they have mm -hmm. like controlling the lifestyle controlling your lifestyle you know like I, what 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 do you think you know some of the things that amalek is is running and controlling that some of our people don't even know you know what i mean like what do you think that what do you think like your mindset as far as in your the, your diet, the way you eat, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? The, uh, your reliance on health care and believing in a system as far as in what medicines you use, uh, the, the worship, mm -hmm. things that, uh, you know, you don't even pay attention that you idolizing. Yeah. It, it's a lot. And it's pre all premeditated to where it's like, like you said, you can't even imagine the things that they got their hands on that, mm -hmm. man, it's taking over a lot of people's households. They don't even know. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> from starting wars, funding wars, I mean, entertainment, owning gas, I mean, own, owning owning oil, I mean, your every day, you're spending a dollar with them every day, you know, and they're printing the money that you're using, so, you know, we just want to bring, bring some more further edification out, be the will of the most high, just to uh -huh. show what they got their hands wrapped around and what and what are they plans you know um what are they plans for the people so i if we can we, last time we finish out can we go back to uh psalms 137 and bring that out from the top this is the book of psalms chapter 137 by the rivers of babylon there we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. Mm -hmm. For there they 
they that carried us away captive required us a song. They required us a song, you know, Negro spirituals. And just like today, you know, who's bringing in all the money in hip hop? Who's bringing all the money in R&B? Who's bringing in most of the money for these record companies? Who's calling a uh, entertainment music industry culture? Our people say the culture. We doing this for the culture. Black excellence. Is this excellence? Is this black excellence? Oh, we black. Yeah, it's just culture. Oh, they could do nothing without us. It's culture. All this stuff. We just we just black. Yeah, yeah, black history, brother. Yeah, yeah, black history month. Yeah, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. They need us. Yeah. But not fully understanding. Hold hold what you got, King. Get 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 that one we want. Us uh, a second Corinthians. Uh, four and three. Bring that out. Uh, it's the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. So he blinds your mind. He blinds you in every way. Whether you're not believing in him. Whether you can't really see. You can't really see what's going on. Finish reading. Come. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So, you need some light. You need to be able to see in the dark. You know, you in this dark world, and you just hear, you see all this movement going on with, with the programming, the stations, like we always talk about. Every day, it's a new, it's a new agenda. Police shooting here. Let's film it. Why are the cameras always there when it's time for this stuff? Who's pointing these cameras? How how was y'all involved in seeing the Holocaust and there's cameras right there? Right? And you saying that they destroying Jewish people, but they own the media. Third President of the United States, 1945, 1953. To recognize Israel as a sovereign state with two million dollars which they give to him on his campaign train. At midnight on May 14th, the state of Israel is officially proclaimed in Tel Aviv. Eleven minutes later President Truman declares the United States as the first foreign nation to recognize it. Truman later confides to friends that he wanted to recognize the Jewish state in the first hour of its birth. Yet when pressed by journalists on this subject, he refuses to discuss his pro-Jewish stance any further. The flag of Israel is unveiled. The emblem on the flag is a blue-colored version of the Rothschild, red hexagram. It has a blue border at the top and the bottom which represents the Nile and Euphrates rivers. This is put there to make the Jewish territorial ambitions very clear, and Israel in accordance with its biblical borders. This would of course mean the inclusion into Israel of, Iraq, Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, and parts of Saudi Arabia. This use of the Rothschild hexagram is disguised as it is referred to in the Rothschild media as a, Star of David. However, it is clear to anyone with knowledge of esoteric symbolism that this hexagram was used in the ancient mystery religions as the symbol of, Mush described as a demon of unwilling sacrifice and is also interestingly the name of the stone owl, the elite worship at Bohemian Grove, and, Astaroth, described as the Lord Treasurer of Hell. Due to the fact it is made up of six lines, has six triangular sectors and six points, it is commonly regarded as a symbol of Satan. Interestingly, the hexagram is also used to represent Saturn which has been identified as the esoteric name for, Satan. Would this not indicate that anyone killed in the name of Israel is actually a sacrifice to their god, Satan? Furthermore, the Jewish Sabbath is on Saturday, which was originally known as Saturn's day. So, to recap, the hexagram on the Israeli flag represents the number of the beast 666, it is an ancient representation of Satan, also known as Saturn, and the Jewish weekly religious day is Saturn's day. In the early hours of April 19th, 100 and...
they owned the newspapers. All this madness. All right, go back to uh, Psalms 137. Okay. Picking up at Psalms 137, verse 3. For there, they that carried us away captive required us a song, mm -hmm. and they that wasted, uh, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, "Sing us one of those songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? How are we gonna sing the song in a strange land? We didn't know America. We didn't know these lands. Uh huh. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunnings." And now our people don't even want to remember Jerusalem. They don't even think it's real. You saying that you don't believe in the Most High. You don't believe in this Bible. But Jerusalem exists. Only our people. God. Not traveling overseas. Not knowing their history. Not knowing that you can actually physically go touch these, these places. That You only hear that amongst our people. Oh man, that Bible. But they have a whole land that they've been over there fighting and warring against since your great great grandma was born. Even before that, but we just talking about like 1948 when they went and got the land. Balfour Declaration. All this plan that, that, that Edom been doing. Go to the book of Obadiah. Go to the book of Obadiah and, and, and <clears throat> let me get that with you. For all the programming and, and the deceiving. That, that Edom been doing. Ezekiel 35. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, in thy hills, and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return shall know that I am the Lord, because thou hast said that these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger, and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus saith the Lord God, When the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate, as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumea, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord.
but the chief house, the Amalekites. <clears throat> the chief house. Bring that out from the top. This is the book of Obadiah. Verse 1. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God, concerning Edom. Mm -hmm. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. You're very much despised being over there in the Middle East and thinking you just you just mighty because you done got this UN. You got this one world government. You got all nations down with your plan. Mm -hmm. Trying to create this oneness that y'all always do. Following y'all programming. Hold that. Get first Maccabees. Get 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 first Maccabees. Uh, 1 and 41. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. You always trying to make us one people. You always trying to eat, eat, push equality when we know there's no such thing. Mm -hmm. You trying to just go back to what you got in Obadiah. You always trying to just, you and yours always trying to just. Act like oh it's all it's all the same. You could be you could be trans. You could be no. Nah, that's just so much confusion. You trying to say that we should all just be together in America, yet your whole system destroys a certain people. And you talking about a oneness. Finish reading to what you got in Obadiah. Obadiah uh, verse three. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Mm -hmm. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Whose habitation is high, that mm -hmm. saith in his heart, Who shall who shall bring me down to the ground? Mm -hmm. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. You stay using the eagle on back of your dollar bill. You stay using it for your your your, your, your military. That good pride that you just sitting over everything and everybody. The eagle has landed. And that's all that madness. Finish mm -hmm. reading. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Most High. Mm -hmm. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they, would they not have stolen till they had enough? After you, you done stole so much in the earth, you ain't had enough yet. Finish reading. If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Leave a little grapes? You go take the whole thing. Uh huh. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Mm -hmm. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. You right there in the valley of Jehoshaphat. You right there. Uh huh. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee mm -hmm. and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. Oh, it's coming. All the confusion, all the warring against each other. The ones that they've given money out to. United Nations sitting in a big old circle. With each country's title, making you think they're all coming together hmm. and and coming with some with some process and all bringing their information together, not knowing well who owns who owns this building, who owns the United Nations, Play, playing this theater for you to think oh they're getting it together yeah they want to come together and make this world a better place. No, Satan got order out of chaos. Finish reading. There is none understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? Oh, because they think they're so smart. Council on Foreign Relations. Bilderberg meeting. All this crap. Go go ahead. And understanding out of the Mount of Esau. Mm -hmm. And thy mighty men, O Taman, mm -hmm. shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. So that top chief house of Esau at the Mount of Esau. Who's the one leading the nation? Who's the dukes? The Amalekites. Why? The chief house? Because they the ones that's financing all this stuff. The, the royal bloodline, right? Finish reading. Verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob 
Shame shall cover thee, mm -hmm. and thou shalt be cut off forever. Mm -hmm. And the day that thou stoodest on the other side, and the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, mm -hmm. and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, mm -hmm. even thou wast as one of them. Yeah, you ain't going to cast lots. You went and was selling selling property and giving land to don't, that didn't even belong to you. You defiled the land. But the Most High, he so... He's so righteous and, and got such a good plan. He bringing a new Jerusalem. Satan could never have his hands in what the Most High is doing. Mm -hmm. He know that. You can't just think you're going to just defile his land. You, you, silly. Just like there's no understanding in Esau, like the words say. The chief house, like the ones running the show in wickedness, right? Finish reading. Verse 12. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother and the day that he became a stranger. Uh -huh. Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah and the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people mm -hmm. and the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity. You weren't supposed to just be looking on us when we was falling. When we know we fell from the most high. Uh -huh. Nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. You weren't supposed to touch all that stuff and make a boast on the Ark of Titus. Showing that you took the spoils of Jerusalem, the menorah, all the gold you got at the Vatican. All the resources, all the, all the books, all our ancient scrolls, all the stuff that you've taken. And put stuff in your museums acting like it's yours. You went and, and, and just stripped all the heritage out. Then taking it all. But the Most High allowed you to do it because we sinned, right? Okay. But he's so righteous and he said he had never cast us off completely. And he always leave a remnant to get back. Finish reading. Verse 14. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Mm -hmm. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. Mm -hmm. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Mm -hmm. So, big payback. The most high vengeance belongs to the Lord, right? Uh. Like the scriptures say. Get Isaiah 34, 1 from the top. Because the Amalekites, the chief house of the of the Edomites, right? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, and verse 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein. Mm -hmm. The world, and all things that come, come forth of it. Mm -hmm. For the for the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, mm -hmm. and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. You know, utterly prophecy, utterly destroyed their armies. Ain't no United Nations army. You better get up out that military, Reed. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Mm -hmm. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, mm -hmm. and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Mm. And the most so like it, and all the most of heaven shall shall be dissolved. All the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. All the hosts of heaven. You fallen spirits that is coming. Those fallen angels, the war in the heavens, right? Like you say in second Edris. Finish reading. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine, mm -hmm. and as a fallen fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Mm. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the, the people of my curse to judgment. The people of his curse to judgment. All of Idumea. Right? The Edomites. All of Idumea. The people, they're cursed too. Remember he told you? In the book of Numbers. Numbers 24, 19, 20. Out of Jacob shall come him that shall have dominion. And when he looked upon Amalek, so Amalek is done. That chief house, they done. Get, get the book of Esther.
Get Esther chapter 3. First, let's get, what was the Edomites' religion? Who was they following? Did the Most High just did, who were they following, right? Let's get this, let's get this Esther and come back to Esther. Let's see, what, what were they following? The Edomite religion. Mm -hmm. The nature of Edomite religion is largely unknown. Hmm. As close relatives of other Le Le Levantine Semites, they may have worshipped such gods as El, Baal. So Baal, they was worshipping Baal. Uh huh. Kos mm -hmm. and Asherah. Asherah, Asherah, right? Queen Mother of Heaven, everything that we was falling to, and now they giving you repackaged as Mary. Baal, calling on Jehovah instead of Ahiah. The I am that I am. Finish reading. In Antiquity of the Jews, book 15, chapter 7, section 9, Josephus notea that Castorborus appointed by Herod to be governor of Idumia and Gaza. Mm -hmm. Herod. Idumian, uh huh, was descended from the priest of the Kohs, whom the Idumians had formerly served as a god. Mm -hmm. So, Hara was no Israelite, he was Edomite, priest of the devil, on an on a agenda, on a mission. Finish reading. Josephus goes on to say that the Jewish leader, Hyrcanus, had made the Idumians. Receive the Jewish custom customs and law. So if you're going to come, he was saying, if you're going to come partake in where we at, you got to come follow our law. Just like you here now. Oh, you you loving your Christmas. You loving your, your Saturnalia. Mm -hmm. Repackages Christmas. You loving your, your Easter, which don't got nothing to do with Passover. Talking about Good Friday. You loving, you get mad if someone... If, if you don't have that Thanksgiving turkey, you don't get to post your plate. Mm. You get to post and, 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 and you not following the holy day. So they done got you following their program. See, back then they come into the land. You got to get with this or you got to get up out of here. Now you just loving it. You holding on to man, the Israelites are taking away Christmas. Boys, what about the kids? Why you can't give them some stuff a different day? You ain't following the Most High in Christ anyway. Why you care about that day so much? What about salvation? Con. Con. You ain't worried about that. You lying to children. Finish reading. For an, archaean, for an archaeological text that may well be Edomite, reflecting on the language, literature, and religion of Edom. Mm -hmm. See Victor Sasson and Edomite Joban text. With a biblical Jobin parallel. Jumping down. Okay. Identification with Rome. Mm. Later in Jewish history, the Roman Empire came to be identified with Edom. And specifically, the remnants of Amalek. And still designate nowadays Western country. This can be seen in rabbinic and Pharisaic writings such as the Mishnah. Or the Talmud, the Spanish rabbinic leaders, Rambam and Ib Ibn Ezra, the French rabbinic scholars. All right, too. You got that one. Come on. That's it. So we see history, right? We see that. I didn't read that last part. Bring it out. They use Edomite to refer to Rome, mm. the Byzant Byzantine. Empire in parallel, the Islamic word is referred to as Ishmael. The Islamic world, we are we getting we getting our, our other brother Ishmael too, okay. right after this. I think we're gonna go into it next week, right? Right now, we on the Amalekites and Edom, right? But there you go. Now, why are we in Islam following Ishmael? Don't you want to follow the promise, Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob? Yeshia Christ, don't you want to follow what makes sense? But you're not reading. You letting them open up the book. You letting them open up the book and tell you to come to the mosque. Why you? Why you can't have a a a a, a prophet that look like you? Why you can't have prophets and a God that look like you? Something's wrong with that. 
You think you think any other people in this world could go through what our people have been through and still be smiling? And we and we and we and we give. I mean, we support we support everything they got. Mm-hmm. We used to we used to do every all type of restaurants. We didn't support all they busy. You can't even get you can't even get them to just come spend a dollar with you, right? For the most part, for the most part. Now let's get back to this scripture. Let's get the book of Esther. Uh, start uh, chapter three. From the top. Come. It's the book of Esther, chapter 3. After these things did King Ahasuerus promote Haman, the son of Ham- Hamadia, Hamartha, Slakia, the Agite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were that were with him, and all the king's servants that were in the king's gate, bowed and reverenced Haman. For the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecia, Slakia, Mordecai, Mordecai. Oh, Mordecai, Slakia, bowed not, nor did him reverence. Then the king's servants, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, Why transgressest thou the king's commandment? Why are you transgressing the king's, uh, you Jew, Mordecai, you Israelite? Uh huh. Now it came to pass when they spake daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them. That they told Haman to to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand. For he had told them that he was a Jew. And when Haman saw Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. You not bowing down to our God? That's what they saying. You ain't bowing down, you Israelite? Uh Uh-huh. And he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone. For they had shown him the people of Mordecai. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, Mm -hmm. even the people of Mordecai. Mm -hmm. In the first month, that is the month of Nisan, in the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus, they cast Pur, that is the lot, before Haman from day to day, and from month to month, to the twelfth month, that is the month Adar. And Haman said unto Ahasuerus, There is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces. These Israelites is scattered and dispersed amongst the people of the province, huh? In this in this uh uh in this captivity, uh huh. Of thy kingdom, and their laws are the are diverse from all the people. They don't want to do what the heathen is doing. They got different laws, they got the heritage of the most high God of high of Israel. Finish reading. Neither keep the neither keep they the king's laws. Therefore, it is not for the king's prophet to suffer them. Mm-hmm. If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed. Let let's destroy them. They not following what we following. Uh huh. And I will pay ten thousand talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of business mm-hmm. to bring it into the king's treasuries. Mm-hmm. And the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman. The son of the son of Hameth Dathia and the Agarite, the Agite, the Jews' enemy. So the Agagite, Haman the Agagite, the Jews' enemy. So what's his? What's Agag mean? Let's get that in Strong's. Let's get it right here. That H9. Agag. Translation, Agag, king of Amalek. King of Amalek, the Jews' enemies. Right? We told you, switching it up, becoming the Romans. Our enemy, always trying to find us, destroy us, because we won't follow, we won't follow their law. We won't get with the program. It's something in them. It's something in them. They, they just don't want to, it's always a remnant of them that just, the most high keep preserving. Satan, what can we do? What can we do? Lucy, they not falling for the program. They growing them beards out. We, we told them they got to cut them beards to get a job. They, they taking their heritage back. Get, get Esther chapter 9. 
start at uh, verse 24. This is the book of Esther, chapter 9, and verse 24. Uh -huh. Because Haman, the son of Hamadetha, the Agite, the enemy of all the Jews, had devised against the Jews to destroy them, and had cast per, that is, the lot, to consume them and to destroy them. Mm -hmm. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his sons should be hanged on the gallows. Mm. So he trying to come... He, he was trying to hang us. And he, he getting hung. Uh-huh. He what? trying to hang the Israelites. Uh-huh. Verse 26. Wherefore, they call these days Purim, after the name of Pur. Mm -hmm. Therefore, for all the words of this letter and of that which they had seen concerning this matter and which had come unto them, the Jews ordained and took upon them and upon their seed and upon all such as joined themselves unto them. So as it should not fall, so, so it should not fail, Salakia, so like that they would keep these two days according to their writing and according to their appointed time every year. And that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation. So we're going to keep Purim. Let's get the book of Esther, the, the, the rest of it, in the Apocrypha. Let's get the rest of it. Haman the Agagite trying to slaughter and kill the Jews. Let's get uh, Esther uh, 16. Because they are trying to just get us to do what they want us to do. Does it make these? Uh, not a book of uh, Esther. I'm uh, saying, 101. Before? No, uh, page 101. In the they won't just let us be. Just like just like Pharaoh. Leave them alone that they may go and, and sacrifice to the Lord their God. Leave them alone that they could go serve their God. No, nah, you just hating because you ain't get the birthright. You hating because you ain't getting this kingdom. You salty. Get uh, got to uh, get sixteen. Um, let's get uh, uh, just go to ten. Okay. It's the book of Esther, chapter sixteen and verse ten. For Ammon, a Macedonian, the son of Amaditha, being indeed a stranger from the Persian blood. So he wasn't no Persian. Haman wasn't no Persian. He was an Amalekite, uh huh. And far distant from our goodness, mm -hmm. and as a stranger received us. Mm -hmm. had so far forth obtained the favor that we show toward every nation mm -hmm. as that he called our father so like it, as that he was called our father and was continually honored of all men as the next person unto the king but he not bearing his great dignity went about to deprive us of our kingdom and life mm -hmm. so he was trying to take us from our life uh huh having by manifold and cunning deceits Sought of us the destruction, as well of Mordecai, Mar Morde Mordecai mm -hmm. who saved our life and continually procured our good, as also of blameless Esther, partaker of our kingdom with their whole nation. Mm -hmm. For by these men, for by these means, he thought, finding us destitute of friends, to have translated the kingdom of the Persians to the Macedonians. Mm -hmm. So those Macedonians. Verse 15, but we find that the Jews whom this wicked wretch have delivered to utter destruction are no evildoers, but live by most ju by but live by most just laws. So when you living by the most high law, is is you don't know they're they, they gonna see that light. Some people gonna try to steal it, but if you doing what the most high do, he gonna deliver you, just like he's gonna deliver us now if you're doing what you're supposed to do. You can't the only planning that you could do against what these Amalekites is doing is do what the Most High say and let that Ruach lead you. You thinking you could plan against this? With you think you think you could have the most perfect plan and just be doing your thing? And I'm just gonna get rich. I'm gonna find a way to up out of this. I'm gonna pay to get my way up out of this plan that they doing this world destruction. Yeah, I got the master plan, and you ain't even keeping the Most High. Get that. Get James. Get James chapter five. Because you thinking that you could just find your way through all this without the spirit of Ahia, without his son Christ. You thinking that you could just, oh, it don't matter. Yeah, let me hear what that Bible say. All right, I'm, I'm going to look out for it. Without doing what the Most High say. 
Get James chapter 5. From the top? Come. This is the book of James, chapter 5 and verse 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Mm -hmm. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Mm -hmm. Your gold and silver is cankered, cankered, and the, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Mm -hmm. Behold, the hire of the of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Sabbath. Yeah, so you can't be thinking that oh, I'm just going to go get some riches. No, you heap treasures for yourself in the last days. If you just relying on your riches instead of doing what the most high say, you got to do what he say. His burden is light. It's a light thing that you do this. And you got to wait because the most high. He's sending his son. To come take care of all this, all this craziness in this world. Get up. First Maccabees. Chapter 1, verse 1. This is the book of 1 Maccabees. Chapter 1, verse 1. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Sh Shittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, mm -hmm. that he reigned in his stead. The first over Greece. Uh, the first over Greece. That's why through all your, your, your books. Why they ain't putting why ain't talking about Mordecai? Oh, because he was freeing them Israelites. But you gonna put up Alexander the Greek, calling him Alexander the Great. What made him so great? He slaughtered he slaughtered a lot of people. Oh, because he put Edom, he he was the first one to put Edom on top. He's the first one to go throughout the earth and, and shed blood. Finish reading. Verse 2. And made many wars. And won many strongholds, mm -hmm. and slew the kings of the earth, and went through to the ends of the earth, and took spoils of many nations, and so much that the earth was quiet before him. Uh -huh. Earth was quiet. Whereupon he was exalted, and his and his heart was lifted up, mm -hmm. and he gathered a mighty strong host, and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. So they always control the money. They always control the money. Get Matthew 17, 25. We always control the money because we want to see which Amalekites is, is controlling the money today. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 17 and verse 25. Uh -huh. He saith, yes, and when he was come into the house of Yeshia, prevent, prevented him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon, of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Of their own children or of strangers? Do they go taking the money from the strangers or their own children when they come with this, the, with the IRS, with the with the with the with the payment plans? Uh huh. Peter saith unto him, of strangers, Yeshua saith unto him, then are the children free? <laughs> then how are you free? You walk around saying I ain't cursed. Ah, oh, I'm I'm good. I got the money. I got this. I'm doing it big. I'm free here. It's opportunity here. Instead of just saying, I see, I see what's going on. I see I still gotta pay these taxes. I still I still gotta pay them if I want something. So how are you free? You're not free. They just rocked you to sleep a little better. Mm -hmm. They just rocked you to sleep. It's on autopilot. You thinking now cause you don't have colored only drinking fountains that you equality. You be you became one people. Right? And many evils was, was 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 spread through the earth. Like you say. Now, let's get let's get some video. Let's see back on these these Amalekites running the world today. Who's running the programming, right? Let's get some on David Rockefeller, who passed away in 2017. In my office at uh, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, and my personal office which is on the 56th floor looked south I actually was there and saw the building collapse it was hard to believe that the, what I saw was actually happening 
At the time of his death, Forbes estimated Rockefeller's net worth was $3.3 billion. Way more than that. Don't be deceived. Uh-huh. Initially, most of his wealth had come to him via the family trusts created by his father, which were administered by Room 5600 and the Chase Bank. And the Chase Bank. Hmm. Always involved with the money, Reed. In turn, most of these trusts were held as shares and the successor companies of Standard Oil, mm -hmm. as well as diverse real estate investment partnerships. How you own Standard Oil? How you got the oil? Yo, you got the oil because you you go through the earth, you start wars and fund wars, and and you take you take the spoils. That's what y'all have always done. Finish reading. Such as the expansive, exp yeah, expansive. And Barcadero Center in San Francisco, mm -hmm. which he later sold for a considerable profit, retaining only an indirect stake. In addition, he was in addition, he was or had been a partner in various properties such as Canil Bay, a four thousand acre resort development in the Virgin Islands, mm -hmm. a cattle ranch in Argentina, owning it all, uh -huh. and a 15,500-acre sheep ranch in Australia. Now, let's get more on that. What, what, what type of leadership groups was he, was he a part of? Bring that out. Non-governmental leadership positions. Mm -hmm. Council on Foreign Relations. You're the, how are you the Council on the Foreign Relations and you on, you're your chairman for Chase Bank? Uh -huh. Honorary chairman. Mm -hmm. America Society, mm -hmm. Founder and Honorary Chairman, mm -hmm. Tri Trilateral Commission, mm -hmm. Founder and Honorary, Honorary North American Chairman, mm -hmm. Bilderberg Meetings, mm -hmm. Only Member of the Member Advisory Group. So, you are Founder of these groups and you're the only member of certain parts of these groups. So, you make, you make worldwide decisions. And you own in Chase Bank? And you connected to the IMF World Bank? So, let's see. Because we know... We know if you making all these decisions, we know as, as Israel and being for real woke by the truth of the Most High or higher, okay. we know what's really going on, so... Let's play some video. Company, it is neither federal nor does it have any reserve. It is conservatively estimated that profits exceed $150 billion per year, yet the Federal Reserve has never once in its history published accounts. Some recent evidence has come forward as to who really owns the Federal Reserve, and they are the following banks. Rothschild Bank of London, Wapberg Bank of Hamburg, Rothschild Bank of Berlin, Lehman Brothers of New York, Lazard Brothers of Paris, Kuhn Low Bank of New York, Israel, Moses Sef Banks of Italy, Goldman Sachs of New York, Wapberg Bank of Amsterdam, Chase Manhattan Bank of New York. These are all Rothschild banks. 1914. The start of World War I. In this war, the German Rothschilds loan money to the Germans, the British Rothschilds loan money to the British, and the French Rothschilds. So, it's hard for you to believe what you were seeing was happening mm. from your building the Chase Bank. But we get it. The pretext to go into the Middle East, the war on terror, the, the weapons of mass destruction that we ain't heard about in years. Some people never even heard about this, that, that the war started over that, right? Because you're talking about over 20 years ago, the pretext to go say, oh, there's, this, there's these people over here with weapons of mass destruction. Well, why are you still there? We know why you're still there. Go to Joel chapter 3. Go to, go to Joel chapter 3 because Satan got you deceiving. He thinking he outsmarting the most high. He know he can't outsmart the most high. So what are you doing in the land thinking that you're about to accomplish a plan? In the center of the earth, you in his land where you ain't supposed to be thinking that you going to use NASA, CERN, and all this other madness to war against the Most High. And if you didn't know that, read your scriptures. For the top. Get, 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 get Joel. Get Joel. 
bring that. No, let's let's go to verse eleven. It's the book of Joel, chapter three, and verse eleven. Mm -hmm. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. All ye heathen. And, all ye heathen. Uh huh. And gather yourselves together round about thither. Yeah. Cause thy mighty ones cause thy mighty ones to come down, mm -hmm. O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened. Let the heathen be awakened. Wake up. It's wake up time. Uh-huh. And come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. In the, right in that area. That area of Jehoshaphat. Uh-huh. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. He's going to bring judgment. He's going to bring judgment. All the heathen round about. Uh-huh. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. It's about that time to take that sickle to that harvest. Uh-huh. Come get you down, for the press is full. Mm -hmm. The fats overflow. For their wickedness is great. It's wickedness. You done started a war on terror. You done destroyed innocent people thinking they're fighting for America and freedom. You done destroyed all these people to get what you want. Uh -huh. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Mm -hmm. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Mm -hmm. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Mm -hmm. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. So shall ye know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk. And all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters. Mm -hmm. And a fountain shall come forth out of the house of the Lord. And shall water the valley of Shittim. Mm -hmm. Egypt shall be a desolation. Egypt going to be a desolation. He ain't done with Egypt. You got his people thinking that Egyptian and, and, and trying to look rocking these onks and all this other madness. When you should be following the most high God of Israel. You shouldn't be worried about none of that stuff, right? You shouldn't be following none of that. Bring that out. And Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Mm -hmm. But Judah shall dwell forever in and Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed, for the Lord dwelleth in Zion. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Plain and simple for all this destruction they're doing. Two more scriptures. Get Isaiah 63. The Amalekites running the show, programming you, funding money from, 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 the, from the oil to the record companies. We didn't really go into that too much. Just funding everything you could think of and putting it in your face. New world order on your dollar. Isaiah 63 from the top. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Who is this that cometh from Edom? With dyed garments from Basra. Who is that? This that is glorious in his apparel. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. Mm -hmm. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel. And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. I have trodden the wine press alone. And of the people there was none with me. So he went through the wine press and none of them is with me. Went through the wine press. None of them is with me. Nothing, I didn't. I didn't went through the wine press. Get the precept. Get 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 uh, Revelation nineteen eleven. He don't went. He don't went to see if any of them was with him. Nah, they all with Lucy. They all done bow down. They say nah. We could. We, we could do it. Satan done deceived them. We could get the job done. You see what he let it do to his people. Yeah, we could get the job done. Bring that out. It said nineteen eleven. Kind. This is Revelation chapter 19 and verse 11. And I saw heaven opened and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Mm -hmm. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Dipped in blood. Coming through that wine press. Uh huh. And his name... So like it. Yeah, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Verse 15. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it 
he should smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Why? Because it's a united nations. It's a one world order. They're all in it together. Uh huh. And he treaded the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty God. So he went, he going through that winepress. He going to go take care of business. Uh huh. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written king of kings and lord of lords. Mm -hmm. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the super of the great God. Uh-huh. We'll leave it there. Come and gather yourself to the supper of the Lord. Come and gather yourself for that supper. Most high. All things written aforetime, written for our learning. Right? Get, get, get Matthew chapter get Matthew chapter 12. Things written aforetime, written for our learning. Just like the Most High had that Last Supper. Oh, we, we, you're going to sit down again. You're going to sit down with the forefathers when you call to that, when you call to, uh, when you call to that great meal, when you sitting at the table. How we know that? Get Matthew 12 and... Matthew 8. Eight and eleven. Uh, it's the book of Matthew, chapter eight and verse eleven. Mm -hmm. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the we, kingdom. We of got heaven. to sit down. We about to sit down, uh huh. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. Mm -hmm. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Mm -hmm. That's what it's gonna be. So you got to get with the program so you can sit down. So when you get called to that wedding, right? And you sipping wine, like like the words say, when you coming coming to that feast, all these things that we that we've been practicing, the feast days, the holy days, mm -hmm. righteousness, coming together, right? Christ, after you celebrate the victory, and we gonna have a real feast over all these Amalekites and everything doing its destruction. God. When you sipping wine, right? And you're going to sit down. And Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you're going to be in the kingdom. You're going you gonna to be in righteousness. And the Gentiles going to partake in and have their portion. And we're going to have ours. And they're going to rejoice over there. Get, get Isaiah 61. Get it with you. Five. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine and your vine dressers. Mm -hmm. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall be sh shall ye boast yourselves. Mm -hmm. For your shame ye shall have double. And for your and for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. So like they're gonna rejoice in their portion. We see what they we see we see we see what our forefathers did to you. They're gonna rejoice in the portion that they got. And we're gonna get double. Go 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 Jeremiah 16, 19. Last scripture. Get Jeremiah 16, 19. Bring that out. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, and verse 19. Mm -hmm. O Lord, my strength and my fortress, my and my refugee in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth, and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, mm -hmm. vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Ain't no profit in what they're doing. Ain't no profit in what they're doing. What profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? Mm. What profit? What profit is that? All of this destruction in the earth. And our people don't want this. Our people out here playing, thinking it's a game. And you on a clock. You falling for music industry and idols. That don't know none of this. Get, 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 get Ecclesiastes chapter 19. 
in Apocrypha. Following these these idols. Yeah, yeah, Jay. I wanna I wanna be like Jay Z. I wanna be like this. I wanna be like that person. And I ain't even gonna act like we ain't been in, in some of this foolishness. But when it's up, it's time for you to to get 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 nineteen twenty two. It's time for you to each one teach one. And it's it's plenty of work to be done. Bring that out. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter nineteen and verse twenty two. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. They ain't got no wisdom. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. We don't look for sinners for no wisdom no more. We're not looking for, yeah, you know, so-and-so just released a new album. They ain't, talk, they ain't talking about this. God. You need to be hearing who had more parables than Christ. None of you rappers had more parables than Christ. He had the most bars. They still trying to break them down to this day. Can't break <laughs> Come he had the most bars. Our people, some in our spirit, love that rap music, love to rhyme. Not even knowing. Come break down these par these parables. Mm -hmm. Been selling records for over 2,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> With that, bless you all. We hope this was edifying for the Malachites. We'll try to keep all these lessons going and, and, and start bringing forth more history and just keeping this work going. Bless you all, Shalom. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning, for the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess flicked thee. And I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time, while I bring you again, even in the time that I can.